I really like the whole invisibility and run kind of thing. I mean, well, if Tyler wakes up in a dark room with the witch, that's the problem. <laughs> what I'm saying, I mean, well, like Landis said, there's no problem there. No problem. All right, Natalia, you're up. <sighs> okay. Um. Hold on, hold on. This all happened so fast. <laughs> <laughs> Just do what feels right. Uh, I need to see something. Hold on. What the fuck? Fuck! The problem is, it's touch, and I'm not anywhere near you guys. Mm, yeah, that's kind of rough. Okay, so what I am going to do is... I'm going to cast invisibility at a second level on myself. <laughs> All right. And dream into Target it yourself one. and then uh, see if it'll work this time. Okay. Let's try this. Did I do it? Uh, Man, it worked that one time. I know. Oh, well, I can fix that. Okay, so I'm invisible, and then I'm going to use my walking action to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. All right, says it's got to roll. <clears throat> Oops. All right. Uh, Aluin, you're up. Uh, so am I flying on this thing now? You are. So, can I... How do I... can't move it. Uh, where do you want to go? You move uh, where you want to go, I'll move it with you. How, how much movement do I have? Oh, let's see. 40. 40, but, okay. But, roll a... Roll a... Arcana check to see if you can steer this thing. Ooh. You're on it, but you got no clue how to use it. <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> uh... Oh, fuck, I guess. But, I believe you do have advantage because you have a height difference. Yes. But do I have any spells? You got really. some pebbles, right? Yeah. Uh, I guess I'm gonna Eldritch Blast. Uh, fucking it? throw the Raven Cane Rapier. Yeah. <laughs> Six. It's got beams of light. Ooh. Let's go. <laughs> Uh, all right. Explain what happens on that crit. Uh, uh the I don't know. The the purple beam shoots into her body. And at first, it doesn't look like really. You know, I mean, it looks like it's bad, but nothing, nothing crazy. And then, uh, are you saying she's dead or what? I'm just asking what happened on the crew. Okay. <laughs> okay. It, uh, I don't know. It's a big, big ass beam of energy <laughs> shot at her. And then it kills what her. Hap what happens? <laughs> um, you see this beam of light come out of your hand and you can feel the power coming out of it as, you know, the smoke from your hands resonates and you see a two and a zero pop up. <clears throat> It's As the power it of the skull. Yeah. <laughs> the power I don't know how to use it, but it, it's powering me up. <laughs> um, As you blast Baba Lazaga with this beam, uh, the first one kind of puts a little chink 
in the back of her skin as you hit her from behind and her shoulder blade you see it kind of open and you take every ounce of power you have left and shoot another beam in the exact same spot as a beam rips through her chest as Goron has blood splattered all over him as Baba Lazaga looks down and looks back up at Goron with her eyes full of fear as she falls over and dies. Oh. Huzzah! Oh. Dude, no fucking way! I'm gonna kneel down immediately and just say blood for the blood guy. <laughs> 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 <sighs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna like, collapse. Like, Sorry, what? I'm gonna just sigh <laughs> in relief and, and become visible again and say, <laughs> oh my god, guys, let's get out of here before anything else happens. Well, I want we to search like, her. Sleep. Can I search her? I want to. I want to. Yeah. I want to actually make sure she's dead. Can I like make sure she's dead? Yes. Um, searching her, uh, you don't feel any heartbeat or anything coming from her. Um, I don't believe she has anything on her. But as you are um, searching her corpse, it starts to move. Um. As it does, <clears throat> you see that the body begins to shrivel away as it's trying to fight to stay alive. But as it's shriveling away, you see a spirit of a um, beautiful-looking forest fae appear as she looks at all of you and nods her head in approval and slowly floats away towards the sky well we did something good today guys <laughs> yeah you're welcome i look down i look down at the amethyst or the the gem that i have and i say come heather house <laughs> um it still doesn't respond to you damn i thought maybe it would if she died i think it i look very disappointed for... <laughs> i yell it from you guys hey help me well i'm, I'm still gonna there. keep this i'm still this kneeled stone. down uh, Bryce, uh, like, how small is her body? Like, does she still have pretty normal-sized hands? Um, it's gone. It's shriveled oh, it's away. it's gone. Oh, so there's nothing? Like, no clothes or anything? Just clothes are left, but that's it. Mm-hmm. Just mm-hmm. old tattered rags. Dang, I really wanted to take a finger and cut it off and then hang it around Sazen's neck, but not tell him, like, <laughs> what it is, and just have him believe that it's something crazy the whole time, but it's just somebody's finger. <sighs> All right, well, I'm going to stand up, and I'm going to go over here. He's going to watch this and be like, bitches. And I'm going <laughs> to... Love you, Tyler. <laughs> Fuck you for not joining us early enough. <laughs> no, no, we love you. All right, anyways, <laughs> I'm going to touch Sazed and cast Spare the Dying. All right, he is stable. Stabilize health. Or uh, zero health. He's stable. Okay, then I'm going to use... I think it's the first time I've ever done this. My, um, where is it? Channel Divinity. So, Channel Divinity. I'm going to use Channel Divinity, um, Preserve Life, which allows me to. Actually, 100% Holy Symbol. Okay, so I can't restore him to more than half of his hit points. What are his hit points? I think he has 50. 50? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I can restore him. Let me restore him to 20. Okay. Because um, this Tanner Divinity, I can basically uh, restore 40 HP, and then I have to re- like re- restock it. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to do 20 to him, and then I'm going to come over and do the same thing and do 20 to um, Natalia. All right. Gracias. So that way they're a little bit. And then I don't know how to subtract this, but I'll just make a note that this is gone now, Bryce. I just deleted Natalia. I disappear. If... <laughs> this is making me really want to play golf. <laughs> oh, yeah. Watching this. 420 blaze it. 420 blaze it. All right. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I... Hold on. I, 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 
I'm shook that she died so fast, guys. But uh, good was, job. Y'all almost had her last session, and I was like, "Dang, y'all are crazy." I was like, "Oh, it's yeah. two o'clock." Oh, uh, that's funny. I was like scared shitless, but I'm like, I'm at one hit point. I don't know if I can kill her. But I'm assuming, were you going to heal Goron, or were you going to attack? Me? Yeah. If she if she lived. If she lived, I was uh I was probably gonna go and um spare the dying on says it okay. because like I don't yeah. really have damage when I have no spell slots and yeah. honestly a lot of my damage comes from inflict wound which is a touch based spell you know because like the other spells that I have are um saving throw rolls which are usually pretty easy to beat especially if they're a high level monster and like I, like I don't get to proactively roll against them they basically just roll to save which is mm -hmm. harder to do so that's why uh. I was just kind of I, like I focused purely on healing Natalia those two turns where I did death ward on her and then I healed Thank with healing you. word. Yeah, and then I just set the spiritual weapon in just so I could have something as a bonus action to just like constantly poke away at her, you know, because it was doing like four damage or two damage or whatever. All right, so everybody is healed. I don't know how much Devin has, but I am going to He's nine. Okay, I'm going to exhaustedly... You said he just healed himself? Yeah, but he only has 9 health. Oh, so I'm going to walk over, and I'm going to be exhausted. I'm going to pat my spiritual weapon. Uh, I'm just going to, you know, like, pat it, like, good job, and then it's going to just disappear. And I'm going to walk over here, and Devin I'm going to... Devin is airborne still. <laughs> I'm going to look up. I'm like going to look up at <laughs> Devin. I'm going to look up at Devin and say, can you set that thing down? Uh, no. <laughs> um, I'm working on it. Um, can I throw him a rope? Yeah, you can try. I think All I right, have a rope. I can I like to... tie the rope onto the skull and rappel down? Mm -hmm. mm. All right. Even do better idea. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, do a athletics check. Me? Oh no, acrobatics check. Oh, hold on. Damn, my thing just fucked up. As you fall to your death, no, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> well, you get about halfway down and you slip and fall. Goron, make a dexterity check to see if you catch him. All right, hold on. I just refresh because my all I my give stuff him inspiration while I'm falling because <laughs> okay. I can feel it. Also, I just realized I don't know if it does autom automatically, but I have plus one on saves for the Ring of Protection. Uh, it, actually, it might if it's uh. It should do Foundry, it automatically. Yeah. It, it's in. Well, I don't know if it's in Foundry. It's in my D and D Beyond. Oh, uh, we'll have to check. So, yeah, my Foundry is not. I gotta wait for it to pull up real quick. I feel like I have trouble with this shit every single weekend. Oh, wow. What a shot. Oh. Yeah, what a shot. Kitty. Come on now. Dude, I was surprised too last session how much some of my damage on attacks did. Like. Yeah, you did a yeah. shit ton of damage. That's why I was trying to keep her alive. Yeah. I was like, all right, I'm hitting eights over here, and she's hitting, like, 60s. So <laughs> one of us probably needs to survive more than the other. The thing that stuck, too, is I hit, like, a really good one, and she passed the Constitution saving, so she only took half. But still pretty decent, but I was like, fuck, dude. dude if she if she hadn't won the Constitution saving, she probably would have died on the last one. Yeah, yeah my, my friendly... Oh, wait, the dust got... Talk some shit. Never mind. It's loading up. Patience. Oh, he missed it. Did it? Oh, I thought it was about to bounce out of the sand trap. I think there it's. I think second. it's in the the front wall. Yeah. All right. It said my page was yeah. unresponsive. Thirty-eight. Uh, just you got dice in real life? No, I got it. Hold on. I would have to get him out, but I just got it to work. Okay. okay, you said dexterity saving? Yep. Uh, you catch him. You catch him on the way down. 
Yeah, it does add the plus one as well. Takes no damage. Nice. Oof. All right, I put him gently down. And as I am touching him on the shoulder after I put him down, I'm going to cast Cure Wounds. Thank you, sir. Oh, do I need to click it? Oh, no. uh, I should. Bing. All right. So, that, and then I just look very exhausted, like I have no uses left in me. I'm very exhausted. You look sleepy. I am very sleepy. What time of the day is that? Because I know... Is that what you were going to say? Uh, yeah. like afternoon-ish, because I think y'all took a short rest right before this fight happened. Hold on, let me look back in the notes, because yeah. I know I wrote down the time at some point. I'm trying to keep better track of the time, so we don't just, like, try to long rest the night away every time. Yeah. Um, the rope it is says, still tied to the uh, dragon stone, but it's just floating, like, 25 feet in the air. <clears throat> Can I give a light, actually, before I move away? Because I moved a little too soon. Like uh, before I moved away, can I uh, grab the rope and give it a light tug and see if it will follow me? Like, yeah. basically, if it's like a helium balloon? Go roll a strength check. Um, yeah, you give it a tug, and it, it's kind of resistant to you, because it's not the best pool in the world, but it's just like a, a test pool, but you can feel it kind of give in and kind of come down like a, a, a foot or two. Oh! So I'm going to look over at Devin, and I'm going to say, Devin, you want to help me out with this? Let's yeah. Let's get this down. Yeah, let's do it. Right. You sound pain. Did you hurt your ankle on the fall? <laughs> no, that guy just missed that putt. <laughs> <laughs> the crowd yelling. That was really... Oh, go look ahead at and roll... Um, Should we both do strength? Yeah, both y'all roll strength with advantage. Strength check? Yeah, with advantage. Uh, oh, oof, like, good thing I got advantage there. <laughs> God <laughs> damn it! <laughs> Um, it comes down a couple more feet, but it's still kind of fighting you guys. Hey, werewolf, come over here. Help us, please. Yeah, Natalia, <laughs> can you help us with this? Uh, I have a name, guys. <laughs> I said Natalia. <laughs> hey, fair. werewolf, that's, that's rude. I'm gonna, I was I'm just gonna, pointing like, out. I'm going to come over like, here, and I'm going to cross the my <laughs> arms and like scoff at you guys. I was simply pointing out that you're the strongest, so we should well, be you. just fell you. in the swamp water, so... <laughs> oh. No wonder he rolled so low. He has no footing. <laughs> I cast prestidigitation on my pant leg and I dry it out. The bitty doodah. <laughs> All right, um, Natalia, just you roll a strength check with advantage. Also, it's probably oh, around like right. three o'clock because when we first got to the hut, it was noon. Okay, yeah. So I'd say like what three or four because we yeah. been going. We went in the hut. We fought her. Damn. Um. <laughs> You have inspiration. So, no, Goron still has inspiration. I'll let you roll for Goron. I'm going to... Yeah, so I'll give it His to head, Natalia. Because uh, we're a group. This is a yeah. group effort. Okay, then I roll 1d6. Yep. Oops. Oh, I fucked that up. Hold on. <laughs> it's slash roll 1d6. Yeah, 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 I fucked up. Hey. All right, yeah, you hey. uh, you come over there and you just grab it with one hand and you just start pulling it down. I just balance it on my finger. Now it it is uh like head height, but it follows follows you guys around. All right. Hmm. Oh, you know what we should do? As a joke, because Sazed is unconscious but healthy, we should put him in that cage out front and then go to sleep in the house and then see what happens when he wakes up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what, what does everybody else think? <laughs> uh, I like it. Uh, Wait, so he's he's is he dead? Dead? No, no, no. Or like, no, no I healed he's, him. He's, he's, he's right? got like All what right. twenty health, I think. Yeah. Oh, okay. But he's cool. he's clearly he's unconscious because yeah. he's not here. Yeah. Yeah. He's exhausted. He's now mentally uh, handicapped. He's, <laughs> he's, he's been he's died too many times. He lost too much oxygen to his brain, so he's he's alive, but he's not all all the way quite there. Okay. Well, now that we have little or less threat of um 
Baba Lazaga, can I go back in the house? Less threat, I think. I think we have zero threat. Just less threat. Well, you don't. You never know what she's left behind, like traps, wise and stuff. Like, I mean, the house itself, I think, is kind of a. Uh, yeah, a trap. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, hey, now. Nah, right, so I'm gonna cautiously <laughs> walk up and I'm gonna step inside the house and I want to take a more detailed look around, Bryce, because I'm not as scared this time. Can I see what exactly is going on here? I know you said something about a potion brewing yeah, in the corner. Yeah, just some potion brewing in the corner. Um. Let's see. <clears throat> the book. Oh yeah, there wasn't there wasn't anything in here. Was taken. The treasure chest is open. There's a bathtub. Everything looks to be as you see it. Mm. What kind of book was taken? Um, someone's got it. I think Sazed has it. I can't remember. Can I rifle through Sazed's pockets to see if I can find yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. You find a uh, the book of dreams. Ooh, can I read that, or can you yeah, play it out loud if you have a sound thing? Here, I'll do this. Oops, that's not what I wanted, but... Book of Dreams. Not close enough to pick up this item. See if you can double-click on uh, the thing below you. Hey, it works. Ooh, there we go. I didn't even see that because I was, uh, all right, so, well, that, that'll refresh this, hold on. All right, do you want me to read it out loud? Mist and rain. Oh, ends of autumn, winters, mm. springtimes drenched with mud, seasons that lull to sleep. I love you, I praise you, for enfolding my heart and mind, thus in a misty shroud and filthy tomb. Oh, it's filmy tomb. Filmy? I don't know what that is. <laughs> On the vast plain where the cold south wind plays, where in the long, dark nights the weathercock grows hoarse, my soul spreads wide its raven wings more easily than in the warm springtide. Nothing is sweeter to a gloomy heart on which the hoarfrost has long been falling than a permanent aspect of your p pale shadows. Oh shit, dude, this is way too long. I'm yeah. not reading this. <laughs> I was waiting for you to do <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That's way too long. What? How does all this mean? Nope, you got it. Yeah, like it. cliff notes. No, dude, there's like. <laughs> it's just. No, we started. We gotta finish six it. Six different books. Diary no thing. Way. <laughs> yeah. Okay, can I... Is there anything useful within this book that I can know from all my past history and religions and stuff? Uh, you see a chapter... Uh, let's see. I don't believe so. I think it's kind of like poems and stuff like that. To save thee from thy wretched fate, thy kisses would resuscitate the body of thy vampire. Hmm. Say that oh, again? What the fuck? <laughs> so, yeah. To save thee from thy wretched fate, thy kisses would resuscitate the body of thy vampire. Fool. So, kisses resuscitate vampires? Or is that huh. just like a... Haha, -ha, funny rhyme. Hee <laughs> hee ho ho. I don't know. About the huh. answer I expected. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> very, very interesting. But, but isn't Straw the, the vampire, the only vampire? Why would we want to resuscitate? I mean... Who's kissing uh, Straw? Yeah. I'm, I, I, so I guess what happens when... They, have, they, they already got married, right? Yes. Yeah. So did they? Did she? Did he kiss the bride? I'm assuming so. So I guess it's already done then. Yeah, the I think vampire this book is kind of I'm gonna go ahead and put this book back in uh, Caesar's pocket. Hmm. Right. Well, I guess there's nothing much going on in here. Is there anything over here in the desk, like notes or anything? To is there anything that would give me an idea of how this house works? With the amulet. Um, no, you don't see anything. Mm, okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and come back outside. And I'm 
going to ask everybody what they think we should do. Where are we on the map? Like, are we able to see real quick, Bryce, where we are in the swamp? Yes. Uh, I don't remember where we got, like, led to. I feel like we've been in her hut for a bit. Yeah. Um, let me load it up. I'll... You're kind of, like, on the uh, oh, what sure. western, yeah. western side of the map. Okay. And you're still kind of looking for... Uh... <clears throat> The uh, Berez Church. But we have the skull now. You do. And the skull is what releases all the people from... Yes, but... But they all have to agree, right? Yes. Or they have to convince the commander to let that happen. So... Because he won't let you. I was going to say, well, do we know how it happens? Um, Like, can we do it without the commander knowing? Possibly. Like, secretly release all of them, you know? Yeah, possibly. Hmm. But if if you do the quest for them, they can help you try and convince him. Yeah, I do remember that. So, is there... Like, we don't really have, like, a home base at this point. Um, what do you guys think about possibly taking this skull to the Bully... Bullywog village and seeing if they can watch over it for us? You think that would be good or bad? Devin and Natalia. Uh, good, I guess. I don't know. I mean, do you think that they are trustworthy, that we could entrust them with a s- flying special skull? I mean, I guess. just I mean, as good as anybody close. else. Plus to close. I, I will say, before you do that, Think about who they worshipped. They worship oh, Baba shit. Lazaga, don't they? <laughs> shit. So yeah, that's out of the question. Um, hey, we know. No, we actually, with, no. So skull. I was gonna say, yeah, we're the new overlords. We just gotta figure out how that thing works, <laughs> yeah. and then we'll just be like, yeah, I'm your new leader, and then we'll have an army of frogs. <laughs> we could, we could. Well, we well, to, in order to do that though, and that kind of goes along with what I was about to say. Uh, we should try to get Natalia to see if she can, uh, figure out how to operate it. Yeah. Cause it was an arcana check and I failed it, but yeah, she does know a little bit more about magic than you or I. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, uh, climb up that rope, please. I I thought it was head height. I thought I could reach it. Yeah, it's oh, true. true. You're Sorry, also like three feet tall. Well, who, who's yeah, but height, I right? was the one who got it down. If you can't oh, okay, remember. Okay. So well, it should I mean, be my you know, head we, height. Helped, we did it first. You just finished it, right? Right, Devin? Yeah, we did most of the work. Yeah, most of the work. We just yeah, loosened yeah, the top yeah. for you, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Well, then I'm going to reach up, and the tips of my fingers are going to touch it, and I'm going to close my eyes, and underneath there's going to be a glow of purple, and I'm going to check to see if I know anything about this. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Um, Ooh, let's go. You touch the skull, and you immediately can tell um, what magic Baba Zaga used to make this thing float and fly and you have full control of the skull. As when, right <laughs> when you touch it, you feel the purple in its eyes light up. Oh no, I'm going to say, hey bestie. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Well, hop on guys. So, yeah. well, how, is it big enough to hold all of us? Um... Actually, it might be able to. Well, we can just tie Sazed underneath with the rope. Yeah. yeah. Just tie the horn or horn, tie around the horn. Yeah. Just drape him over it. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll drape him like, like one of those um, people at the front of ships, you know? Like, what yeah. are they called? The ship heads or whatever? Uh, or that like or the else, <laughs> I was thinking of a, like a, you know, when you kill a deer in Red Dead Redemption 2 and then you drape it over oh, your back? That's even better. It's, Let's do that. So we'll put we'll put a heavy blanket on top of him so it weighs him down. He, he won't go anywhere. <laughs> yep, you got full control of it. So now you can fly. Oh, chip that in. Oh. Now you have the ability to fly over the swamp and um, avoid 
avoid nice. and see if you can see where you want to go. Nice. Hell yeah. Mm. Let's go, guys. Let's go. I, I still like the idea of like getting a frog army, but I'm just throwing that out there. Mm. Eh, yeah. I don't know about that one, <laughs> that's, dude. That's, yeah, that's, uh, that's assuming a lot. Last time we listened to Goron, I'm pretty sure we got fucked, so... <laughs> <laughs> I don't recall. <laughs> I have short-term memory loss from all the times I got hit in the head, though. So. Mm, yeah, I see. I'll follow you guys around. I'm very exhausted. I'm going to quickly clamber up on this here uh, skull with Natalia. I'm going to look over. Uh, wait, is Devin already on? Mm -hmm. mm, yeah. Wait. Yeah. Sorry, I forgot my name for a Hold second. On, we gotta grab Sage. Let me grab Sage so we can tie him underneath. Yeah. yeah, you're gonna have to do that. I have to ride the head because, you know. Okay, I'm gonna All tie right, Sage. I'm gonna tie Sage five feet below us on a rope, Bryce. Okay. Let's just say uh, that we fly around the swamp and see if there's anything interesting. All right. I can't unselect Natalia. Hold on. Oh, that's all right. Anything interesting that doesn't look like it's going to attack us? Uh, let's see. You, <clears throat> you see the frog village, and you see above, below you, Baba Lazaga's hut. Duh, you see the goat pen, but you also see uh, some ruins to the north of you, <clears throat> next to a abandoned like castle and church. Hmm. Hmm. Looks sounds like a good place to maybe take a nap. If needed. Actually, yeah, yeah, I, I, I uh, hold on. Concur. Um, this is what you see flying around <clears throat> as the church ruins. And then above that you see Yeah. Can we see okay. any enemies? Are we like how far off the ground Castle. are we flying? Um, as high as you guys want, so you kind of have the uh, luck of the draw on this one. Mm, I'll tell you, how high are we? Uh, we're like, let's say like 10 stories in the air. 10 stories, all right. Yeah, we're, we're high we're flying. I'm going to be gripping this thing really hard because I'm not the best with heights, and I also have we're plate Peter armor. We're Peter Pan. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um... You are flying above the <laughs> church ruins. Um, you kind of see down below you some spirits walking around in the church. Um, one kind of leading the uh, pact in the front near the altar. Um, you also see pixies flying around and stuff like that. Um, yeah, and that's kind of what you see. Do, do the spirits look angry or like evil? Can I sense anything from them? Um, right now, they don't but you can't really tell. Mm. I'm going to ask Natalia if she can smell anything over the church. Uh, I'm going to sniff it out and uh, see if I smell any like people or death or, you know. You just smell old foul swamp as you're flying around. Mm. I'm going to take her word for it. Okay. Well, I'm going to point to that old tower that we can clearly see, and I'm going to uh, whisper in Natalia's ear and say, Can we land there? Uh, what do you think? Uh, yeah, I, I guess so. It, it, I can't really tell, so we're just going to go for it. I'm going to fly on our skull on over there and land gracefully in the window of the tower. All right. Uh, next to the church, is that where you're going? Uh -huh. I think the t the tower, the top of the tower. I want to be this like up thing. here. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. All right. I'll land, I'll land you up there. Um, I'll um as you fly in closer, you see that the tower, there's no roof to it. It's just a straight drop. 
Ooh. Well, I said through the window. <laughs> so we're through the window on no floor? There's no floor over here? I... It's basically just a shell of a church. Okay. Well, then I'm going to land all the way on the ground level. <laughs> all right. I'll land you guys right outside the church. Um... Um, as you land the skull, you feel that it has some type of magic um, that can change its size. The skull? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Ooh. Maybe you can wear it as a helmet. So, are we changing the skull size? We're we just leaving it big. <laughs> uh, I'll make it pocket size for now right. and put it in my bag. It uh, shrinks down to the size that'll fit in your pocket, and you land. I look kind of disappointed that she didn't try it on as a helmet. <laughs> eh, I do what I want. All right, guys, we should probably rest up. So what time is we it? Like be, five, it, five Yeah, it's like four or five, but we got to be cautious because we don't know what's in this church. We're like, if we just go to sleep, we might get fucked up. Now that I'm like landed here and I'm a little closer, I'm going to try to sniff it out again just to see if I can smell people nearby. <laughs> you don't smell anything. Oh, my uh, God. I, do I see anything? Do we see these spirits? Yes, you can see the spirits through the window, actually. Hold on. Hmm. Let me let me know if it's loading up for you guys or not. I'm on 93%. Okay. Um, when you guys land, you land right outside the front. So some of you might be able to see um, the spirits through windows. Um, but yeah, Goron, you can see the spirits. They're just sitting there listening to the, the sermon. Can I see who is speaking the sermon? Yes, you see. <clears throat> you see a ghost with a hood over his head with a, a white beard um and that's about all you can see the other spirits are like kind of more transparent than this one is um but i don't know if this will work so let's see the morning lord will see us no. through this darkness sunlight will pierce the darkest shadows shining its holy light upon the evil we must not let our corruption of the flesh yeah, I'm loaded, but consume it's just black screen. our souls. Okay. We can see it Stay on the right hand. Yeah, yes, do the darkness, the darkness Lord, sunlight will pierce the darkest and shadows. And he will bless each one of you. We must not let our corruption of the flesh consume our souls. Stay true to the morning. We Lord, have we some new you. parishioners. Welcome. Oh, is he, is he talking to us? Please join us. <clears throat> Are you yeah. here to have your souls set free? Free well, he, of the darkness yes. yeah, that guys plague like. these Okay, so I am going maps. to take a half step forwards, and I'm going to raise my... I'm going to say... Let's do right hand, because my ring's on my right hand. I'm going to raise my right hand up, and I'm going to... Can I allow my ring... Um, what is it called? The Habsburg Crest Single Ring with mm -hmm. the, the little bit of magic damage or whatever? Can I like allow that to shine some light? Yeah. yeah. Just yeah, like yeah. as a little beacon, but not do any damage. Yeah. So I'm going to raise my hand and like walk in the church with like the light shining. Um, Is it loaded up for you guys or not? You? Oh, it's, you said it was no, black. Not yet. All right, hold on. Yeah. Also, Bryce, if we do do a long rest at the end of the session, can um, you just remind me to switch my Morning Star with the um, what was the other one? Oh, the um, you know what I'm talking yeah, about Mace yeah, of yeah. Terror, Mace yeah. of Terror, yeah. Is it still not loaded for you guys? Uh, it's it says something failed. I didn't read the message. It actually just disappeared. Okay. Yeah, I'm not in either. It says, canvas drawing failed, cannot read properties of undefined reading destroy. Okay. Um, 
let me know when y'all are back to looking at this uh, scene. All right, mine's on a black screen for Burr's church ruins. Okay, everything loaded yeah. though and everything. Mm -hmm. All right, hopefully this works. Also, Landis, how crazy would it be if this guy bogeyed this hole and him and McElroy had to do a playoff or like yeah. a tie break? Yeah. I'm almost like hoping on it. I mean, I don't have anything against Clark, but I like Rory. Yeah. It's... Anything yet? Nothing? No, it's loading Briss Church 93% for okay. me. So they're, all, they're the only two left to play? Why is everybody on the thing? What are they doing? I fucking hate how they look. Dude, Sometimes. I would hate to work at this course. Yeah. Dude, this is crazy. People act. People are. People always act like, like you know, golf is so sophisticated and all this stuff. But like, uh, the average person doesn't realize like your average golfer and golf fan is a total degenerate. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like they are nothing like the classiness the, the, that that they you know, put on. Like most golf golf fans are just fucking nuts. Bunch of frat bros drinking beer on the course. Yeah, degenerate gambling drunks, mm -hmm. like basically. Yeah, Bryce is not loading for me. It's okay. just all black again. Same. All right. Um, well, you will we'll load it up next session, but you uh, you shine your ring as the the <clears throat> pastor kind of looks at it and he's like, "Please, are you welcome to have your soul set free? Join us. Sit while you can and listen." Uh, I'm going to put my ring down. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to like put my hand down and allow my ring to die down. And I'm going to sit in the backmost pew. All right. Yeah, I'll listen to your Tom Share pitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, you sure, guys why not? walk into the church. You see that um, it's basically in ruins. Everything's destroyed. There's no pews. There's nothing you see an old tattered red rug leading up to the altar in the front of the church. Um, you see five uh, spirits um, sitting where pews would have been, but they're kind of just floating there, sitting. Um, they pay you absolutely no mind, except um, for the uh, the preacher at the front who invited you guys in. Okay, so I guess I'm standing in the back since I can't sit. Yeah. Um, he sees you walk in and take a sit in the back, and he ushers his hands forward as he asks you to come sit in the front. Please, please, come, come, come closer. You must hear what we all have to say. Sit, sit. We mean you no harm. So I guess I'll slowly walk up to the front, and I'll stand in the front since there's nothing to sit on. All right. Same. If you guys all up there. Um... Dude, I'm on my last sheet out of this notebook. Oh, shit. That's crazy. Is that one whole notebook? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've ripped pages out of it in the past, but it's probably a good, like, I don't know, 50 pages or more. Yeah. Because this whole notebook's supposed to have 70 sheets. And I probably ripped out and used about, you know, 15 of them, maybe. <laughs> yeah, just keep on saying canvas drawing failed, right? Okay. All right, I'll figure it out. I might have to reload or whatever. We might. I might get one of y'all to stay after we finish. Um, you see as you approach that the spirit of the old man, he looks down at you guys. He's like, I am Brother Gregor. Please welcome to the Church of Berez. We worship the morning Lord. As he's kind of like flailing his arms around, like kind of senile as he like spins and looks about. Um, <clears throat> he goes, ah. And then he kind of starts over his uh his sermon uh, once again kind of just repeats himself um after he finishes repeating what he said just a few moments ago he kind of looks down at you guys and kind of waits and i will be right back actually we can end there for tonight if you guys want that's cool 
Yeah, because I mean, I we don't have Tyler anyway, yeah. so it's kind of just, but I don't want to do too really much. Back. Yeah, he kind of talks and does his sermon, but then he looks down at you guys waiting for questions. Or... Sounds good to me. Uh, so they are still playing, they're just not following the other guys. Yeah, because I mean, at this point, no one else can yeah. win. Yeah, yeah. I just know that sometimes it, it does come down to like only a couple people being left playing. Dude, Fowler collapsed today. Holy crap. 75. That's so rough. I think he shot a, like one of the hot, the lowest scores on Thursday. He shot like a 62, 8 under on Thursday. Damn. Good for him. I don't know anything about him, but well played. What a name, Wyndham. Yeah. yeah, it makes me want to play golf so much. Good for him. Dude, I feel bad for Fowler. Like, uh, he was playing so well up until today. Mm-hmm. All right, who's still in here? Me. Oh, everybody. everybody. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try and reload this whole thing because I want this to work. Let me uh, update all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 